What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Vlog Pro X Quick Tip Tutorial. I am Cormo, and today, as promised, I'm gonna be talking to you about the Note Repeater, which is a MIDI plugin that, similar to the Note Repeat function in Logic Pro X, will let you create not only drum break patterns and beat patterns in a little bit more intuitive way, but it will also help you to create those um, popular hi-hat trap patterns that are so popular today, as I just said. So I wanna keep this as short as possible. So let's just go right into Logic Pro X. And I have a set of tracks here with, um, with some um, snares, kicks, hats, and then some melody at the bottom. But first things first, how do we access the note repeat? It's a MIDI um, FX or plugin, so it's gonna be located right below the EQ thumbnail where you typically, if you have no plugin, uh, would show you the words MIDI FX there. And then once you um, get to it, all you need to do is once you press there, you only have this list, right? And that includes all the MIDI FX plugins and you're gonna choose Note Repeater. And then when you do that, you're gonna see this window. It's a very simple to use and understand plugin. And I think that you will be better off learning it. So for the, the few things that you have here as far as parameters and options go, first thing is this through button that's just gonna interpret the actual MIDI input or take it into account for the pattern uh, or the no repeater or the repeat pattern or delay pattern. It has different ways of knowing it and that's going to be represented by this bright orange bar so if i press that it's going to be grayed out that means it's not taken into account but my repeats the or delay repeaters and notes are going to be taken into account and then you have this delay button that's just going to set either not sync to tempo or sync to the tempo and then the slider is going to either um align the delays to a time in milliseconds if you do not have this sync button on or then just align to a bar or beats then in this display you're going to see those repetitions that pattern then down here this other options what they let you do is first set the amount of repeats based on the rate that you want to repeat and then you can transpose up or down not typically useful for uh, drum breaks and beats unless you have a sampler and you stretch out a note in a few octaves or a few other notes and then you can transpose up and down and change its tone and the velocity ramp simply what that does is it's gonna either ramp up or down in velocity as you repeat and go through that pattern or the note repeater pattern. So for example, if I'm 100%, you're gonna repeat everything at 100%. If I go down, it's gonna scale down and up respectively. So I'm gonna leave that at 100%. So what do I have here? What I have here is very simple. Let's just take a quick listen to it. So pay attention to everything that's not grayed out because that's what active. So I have a full sounding drum break or drum beat and I only have three distinct tracks that are on and only one MIDI input for each of those regions. So if I were to go to the piano roll, you're going to see that I only have this hi-hat or I mean this kick here and then uh, I, could, I have a snare, just one snare hit. But the note repeater is doing everything. So the no repeater, when I bring it up again, in this case for the kick, I'm saying, okay, so I want you to repeat that MIDI input three more times at a length or at a rate of half a bar or half a beat three times. So I'm having my MIDI input, which is that guy there, and then it's repeating it three more times, and that's gonna repeat every half a bar. So I'm gonna have a hit there, there, there and there and then I repeated that or that MIDI region I repeated it at bar number three and that's gonna do the same thing so it's gonna achieve the two bars 
same with the snare so essentially what i have here is just a basic very basic bead and then for the hi-hat if i bring out the no repeater plugin i just have eight notes and i am repeating that 16 times so i cover one bar and then i repeated that and i do it twice so what to do if you want to do then add some variation to all of that so let's bring this first kick and notice that i have one region is muted and now let's play everything else with these extra kicks in here i'm gonna bring what i did with the no repeat itself so notice how this changes so this region is very simple what I, i'm doing with the note repeat is just saying okay so repeat whatever i hit with my midi one more time at a length or at the rate of one eighth of a note so it's doing boom and it's repeating it at one eighth so it's very fast and then it's doing it a few times so let's play that again and in conjunction with my other kick hits, it's creating this more fully fledged pattern, more uh, less boring, right? And now just to show and flesh out the concept, I'm gonna add this other snare variation, which where I'm doing uh, something very simple, just a 16 note hit every time I input the snare again. That's it. That's pretty much all you need to know. Uh, it's very simple, so you can go crazy here and, and practice and do all of that. And last but not least, I just wanted to show you exactly what to do with the, how to do more of like a trap type of hi-hats. And I think it's just this three yeah, I think it's just this three. So let's just play first. Uh, let's see, let's play this guy first. So that's creating a 16th note. I'm repeating it 33 times so that it kind of rolls over from the first to the last to the first. No, if you repeat that, it's gonna have that little snare roll sound, but then let's add this other guy. And now let's add finally this. And in the same manner that I worked with the other tracks, I'm just varying my my beats or my delay in repeats for a particular drum section. And depending on what you're using, which is typical for trap, it's like 30 second notes or 16 uh, triplets and 16s and dots and all that, then you can do the same thing by just adding a few MIDI hits. You can uh, have a fully fledged pattern without going one by one, putting every single note or trying to do the note repeat function both can work together as well so you can mix and match for different sections and this gives you a little bit more control so i i think in conjunction like with uh, media automation or if you have a sampler and you have your your hi-hat spanning a few other notes then this becomes very useful very powerful very important to learn in my opinion so just keep that in mind and then if I want to, I, I am mixing this up and I have a, a pattern that spans a few more bars, let's say eight more bars, I can then um, just bounce this in place and have a, a nice pattern that I can later save to my app loops or just export outside as, as a MP3 or a WAP or something like that, just an audio file that I can have for later, which is very important as well, because it's just going to speed up your workflow. So that's pretty much all I can think of about no repeat. I hope that you learn a lot from it as a reminder. 
if you want to help me reach more people if you found some value in this tutorial then help me out by subscribing to my channel Clormo and if you want to stay up to date with other stuff that I do as part of my Clormo Industries brand then visit me at ClormoIndustries.com I hope to see you there very soon I'll see you in the next video peace out people